Hello and welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to create a simple pest or test report in HTML. We do have some prerequisites, so we're going to need the pester module from PS Gallery and also a copy of report unit. If you're unsure or you want to know a wee bit more about pester, there are some snips available. Uh, how to execute pester tests, installing the pester PowerShell module and scaffolding new pester tests with new fixture in PowerShell. So let's get started. I've created quite a simple pester test. It's essentially describing my computer and I'm checking the remote desktop services that should be running and also that this script actually exists. So to invoke it, we would run invoke pester and point it to the actual test itself. So let's run that. And there we go. You'll see the, the normal output from pester basically saying that remote desktop services are running and the script actually exists. So to output this into HTML, we're going to use the invoke pester command again. This time we're going to output it to an XML file. In particular, you'll notice it's an n unit XML file. The reason being is that the software that will create your HTML file, report unit, needs this format of XML. So when we run this, it will output to mypc.xml. And if you notice the path, it's report unit. And underneath that, I created a folder called tests. We can dump all our tests into the test subfolder. And you'll see how that gets picked up just shortly. Okay, so let's have a look at that file. And you'll see the XML there. In the middle of the file, you'll see test case description. So that's all your different tests. So now we want to to take the output of that and pass it into report unit. So to do that, we point report unit.exe to the test folder, that's the input, and the output is the results folder. And there we go, that's it processed. So now let's have a look at the results. And there you see report unit has created the report for us. We can see in the bottom right hand corner, remote desktop services are running and the script should exist. Thank you for watching this snip.